So cake bakers are specialists in the, present, in the preparation and presentation of cakes. They often produce one-of-a-kind baked goods for sale to customers. Their duties include creating recipes, ordering ingredients, and coordinating baking schedules. Their creations may be prepared in large commercial bakeries, restaurants, and even in their homes. Today, we have the absolute pleasure of welcoming Regine, the owner of Love Plus Frosting, whose creations are made at home, to take us on a mouth-watering dessert journey. Yes, my mouth's salvaging already about her art of cake making and so much more. Good morning, Regine. Good morning. And welcome to our Good Morning SKN stage. Thank welcome. You. Thank you. You are certainly welcome. I am going to start it off. So what motivated you to start this business? Well, there's a little story behind of it, actually. Okay. Um, you know, while growing up, my mom always used to bake. You know, she would bake you know, snacks for us and so forth. And, you know, one day, she could recall this very good, and she would mm -hmm. say, you know, one day, I was like, but where's the frosting, you know? Yeah. And, you know, she gave me that mother look like, not me, but if you want to, you know, <laughs> go. So from then, it became a hobby. Okay. And then many years later, when I got married, uh -huh. my husband was like, I just don't post your, your cake pictures online mm -hmm. and see. I hesitated a bit, mm -hmm. but when I did, it just went from there. Right. So that's really how it all started. Mm -hmm. so far, I never thought in my life that cake, my life would revolve around cake. Okay. But here I am today, and I'm loving it. Lovely. Yes. <laughs> Listen, it's not bad to love what you do every day, it's right? Essential. <laughs> exactly. So tell us a bit how, about how the name Love and Frosting, or Love Plus Frosting, came to be. Well, that wasn't always the name, no. but uh, maybe two, three years ago, I wanted to rebrand, give the whole business okay. a whole face. Mm -hmm. And I was just there, you know, flipping through the pictures, and I would always send out a little note on the mm -hmm. cakes, and I would always sign it off saying, love plus frosting, and, oh. you know, saying, and I was like, wow, that's the name I want to use. You know, yeah. frosting, we know what the frosting is. Uh -huh. When we hear the love part, it's like, from my heart to yours, right. and to do a cake or event for somebody, you have to love the person enough yeah. to go the extra mile to do that. So you know what? That's a perfect name. Love plus frosting. It's unique, uh -huh. and I settled my mind on it, and it's been there ever since. I love I like that. that. I love <laughs> that. Oh, so is love plus, plus frosting. frosting. You really want right. to do the attrition? <laughs> love and frosting. Right. No, done with the tradition. Love uh -huh. plus, plus frosting. frosting. Okay, yes. that's fair. I like that. Yes. Is, is love plus frosting strictly cakes? Do you just make cakes? No. Okay. We actually do events as well. I actually, mm -hmm. that's what I was doing before I went into cakes as well. Oh, okay. So we do events where they want coordinating, planning, decorating, mm. if you want to rent stuff. Okay. So we do all of that. But the cakes, I don't just do cakes. We do cookies, brownies, you know, cakes, oh, nice. little cake balls. But those actually come in like packages. If you want a dessert table, we offer them there. But everything essentially revolves around cake. If you want parfait, it's cake. Cake pop, it's cake. Cake right. tickle, it's cake. Oh, so nice. cake is still the core oh, of what I nice. bake. That's really yeah. nice. Yeah. Listen, Our business. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Everything revolves around cake. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> it's like love plus frosting, cake studio, and event boutique. Right, Ooh. right. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> nice. I love that. Mm. So I know. Baking takes a lot of time, and especially mm -hmm. when you're pouring so much love and so much energy into it, obviously, mm -hmm. because it's your passion and you love what you do. Um, you're also a wife and a mother. So how do you prioritize baking, getting everything done, and then also having time for yourself and your family? I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It could be stressful <laughs> at times. <laughs> I like right? that. <laughs> but what I've learned over the years, I want to practice is that family comes first. Mm -hmm. Family comes um, first before everything, before business. So if I have my schedule set out, okay, this morning I'm going to bake. Mm -hmm. But if my child needs me, that has to go on oh, pause. Right. If, you know, that's how it works. So mm -hmm. I've been practicing that. I mean, it comes with a little bird in the midnight or, you know, once my yeah. family is settled and they're comfortable, then, you know, I would stay up and do that. Okay. But not too much because I then have to look after myself and so I can yeah. be there for yes, them and yes. still execute quality products. So yes. I have to balance it. As I say, it's not something you do overnight, but over the years. Mm -hmm. You get but, better at it. Yeah, but family comes first. I like that. Always. I like that. Always. I like that. Hmm. But there's quite a few breakers in our federation, as you know, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you, without giving away too many of your secrets, how do you stay on top or with up-to-date baking trends as they come? Do you quickly jump on the bandwagon? 
so that you can have a product with a difference or you have another method or technique? What I do is every day I set aside some time to do research. Okay, nice. You know, they, I've done a few UK courses over the years, whether it's with a certificate or not. Mm -hmm. And now and again, I would get updates from all those, you know, resources and what. And so I would, every day I would set a time mm -hmm. to do that. And I would think about ideas of how can I create a product that's budget friendly? You know, okay. I want to cater to everybody. Nice. And I may have an idea and I may start to go online and may, oh, somebody else already thought of that idea. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, how can I customize it to fit our market? Mm -hmm. So it takes a lot of research for me, mm -hmm. you know, and practice. Yes. Because there's new trends that's coming out every month, you know, it's, it's revolving so much. So that's the key for me is research and try to practice whatever yes. is trending and so and try to get it fit within the market. Right, nice, nice. <laughs> and obviously when you're baking, you bake with love. love. So what goes into <laughs> baking a cake with love at Love Plus Frosting? Love. <laughs> <laughs> but... Actually, it's, it's more than love, mm -hmm. right? Um, I, me as a baker, mm -hmm. I have to be in a positive mind state, mm -hmm. right? Because for me, when you're creating something, your energy goes into it, oh, right? So you have to make sure that you're mentally well, emotionally, physically. Oh. You have to make sure that you're ready, right? Oh. You're just not taking up the, the spatula and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You put in your all into it, right? Yeah, exactly. And I would always tell people this. There was a, a client many years ago. And I, I wasn't feeling well at the time. And he said, you know what? I'm going to put my all into this to execute it for the client. It was a simple cake. Yeah. But I still needed to put my all into mm -hmm. it. She came. She collected the cake. And shortly after she left, she called. So I'm thinking, what's wrong, right? So when, she, when I answered, she said, you know, Regine, I want to thank you. Mm -hmm. I wasn't feeling my best. Mm -hmm. I think she had a friend who was probably ill or in the hospital at the mm -hmm. time as well. And it was her birthday. Mm -hmm. And she said, when I opened the box and looked at the cake, there was just this burst of energy that yeah. hit me. And that really brightened up that. my right. spirit. And it's scenarios like that that keeps me smiling. You know what? You really have to put your all and your love into it. Right. It's not just about, hey, you know, let me do this to make money. You no. Know? Oh, you have to be indeed. passionate about it to execute that love into it. So essentially that's it. And I do see your passion. So we are, well now guys, did you know it's cake? Yes, we're gonna have some pictures of Regine's favorite creations from Love Plus Frosting. So let's take a look. You can look with us. Ooh. Yes, so nice. what we have here is a arch cake or we call a face forward cake. Something that's trending for this year. Okay. So I try to you know, get plans to see the idea, want to just try it out, you know, because if you cut it properly, you can share with my old family. Oh, wow. So you have an arch cake. Nice. And I like the designs on it. Right. Thank you. Nice. It even looks like it has character somewhat. It's looking at me kind of like sad, painting, but then, right? um, yeah, like it reminds me of something we find from the Aztec um, era. Right. The pattern right. on it. Yes, yes, yes. Right. yes, right. yes. Right. I have a little cartoon in mind, so I see these things. Ooh, Ooh. million dollar cake. Okay. Yes, what we have here is a cake covered in complete edible paper. And it was my first time trying it. You don't it reached out to me. It was you the first say. time, and I, you know what? I want to challenge myself. Nice. So I went ahead and went through the process of getting the, um, the paper. Mm -hmm. And when I put it on, I was like, wow, this is really, really cute. I would have never guessed that's your first time doing that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I Incredible. shocked myself. But as I say, you know, when you practice, you do your research and you practice. And, yeah. Nice. You said you shocked yourself with your hair sticking up. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that, that was nice though. Ooh. Okay, what we have here Ooh. is a joy cake. You know, the rock crystal. I don't know if you mm -hmm. heard about it, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what we have. What I love about this one is that it's very simple. And you don't have to use real flowers to execute a beautiful product. Right. Once you get good quality flowers, still you can still execute something that's really nice. That's nice. what I love about this one. Wow, I like it's it too. Really it looks like it's eating me and it's calling me to eat you, but I'll eat you still. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Ooh, that, that. This is my ultimate favorite cake. No matter what year it is, month it is, no way <laughs> that's not a That is my favorite cake, no matter what. It's a turkey cake. It's a turkey cake. I did it for my son's class so wow. years ago. And yeah. how long did it take you to make that one? <sighs> a few hours. 
you know. But she knows you're saying, wow. I know it's Thanksgiving, so how come turkey rich in the cake? Just <laughs> yeah, <it's> completely <laughs> edible. Nice. Completely <laughs> edible. Down to the stuffing is cake. Wow. Yeah, it's completely. Yeah, that's my favorite cake because. As again, I challenge myself mm-hmm. and I was kind of blindsided doing it. You know, mm-hmm. it's just okay, let me just see the cap it this way. And yeah, it came out really nice. Now you're going to give people a lot of ideas for Thanksgiving. They're going to want yes. a turkey cake. So this is perfect timing because yeah. we're in that season. Mm-hmm. Man, wow. I, I saw one cake from her that I, a birthday cake, mm-hmm. and it was by absolute accident. But we won't share the story. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, I was, I was like, what? We were shocked. Yeah, talent. We were talent.